are many opportunities as mayor that I get to attend ribbon cutting ceremonies. But I think there's something unique about this service that's being provided, especially when you consider the need of our community. You know, it's one thing that you mentioned in high school, you decided you were going to become an attorney which is so broad in the service that is provided. You can choose any aspect of law that you want to focus on. There's many more opportunities to make a lot of money. There's corporate law, mm -hmm. there's law that deals with uh, mergers and things of this nature, but to, to take your profession and focus it on helping those who are often in the most vulnerable of states, those who are in the greatest need, and so often get taken advantage of. I know we had a conversation about how many individuals present as professionals and take a large sum of money of individuals who so desperately hope to have a part of this great American dream that many of us take for granted. Yeah. They take yeah. their money, they turn them away later when they didn't get the results they were waiting for, and they're left disheartened, alone, and out of money. And what really impacted me about your words wasn't that you were opening a business in Passaic, that's wonderful. <laughs> Not that you were going to be in proximity to one of my favorite assembly members of the uh, New Jersey State Legislature, but that your heart was so focused on the people, mm -hmm. on families, on single mothers, on seniors, on young people who already have gone through so many challenges and adversities to even get here. And you were so adamant to say, I want to be the person that makes sure that they get the right service, that they get the appropriate consultation, and the very best representation. You know, in Spanish, and I've said this often, and I've heard this word growing up all my life, I'm sure some of you will be familiar with it. My mother used to say, Dime con quien andas y te dirá quien eres. <laughs> <laughs> and as I look around at the amazing people that are here in support of you, I already know that our city is blessed to have the very best oh, representing. So I'm going to do everything that I can oh. as mayor <laughs> to let everybody know to come. Oh, just that chills. <laughs> to your parents, oh. a tu padre, a tu esposo, a tu niño, a tu familia. Muchas veces el trabajo en invertir en la vida de tus niños. A veces, a las amistades que están aquí, a tus amigas, a tus amistades, a familias, cuando uno se imagina cuántas llamadas han cogido, cuántas veces han estado ahí para los tiempos difíciles, los retos, los desafíos, recordando cuando era una niña pequeñita. Antes de decidir de ser abogada, le quiero dejar saber qué momento tan bello a saber que todos sus esfuerzos y sacrificios no fueron en vano, que todo su apoyo en la vida de ella fue una ambición en algo que va a bendecir a nuestra ciudad completamente. So, también le doy gracias a tus padres, a tu familia y a todos que están aquí apoyando. God bless. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. I am so grateful that you all came out this way to support me. This is a moment that I have worked so many years toward. I worked so hard for this goal ever since I decided to become an attorney in high school. Um, every decision that I've made, every step that I've taken has been toward achieving this goal. Um, so first I, I want to thank God because without God none of this is possible. Yes. So I want to thank God first. I want to thank all my family and friends for being here, those that are present and those who are supporting me from afar. I appreciate you. I've, I can't list you all because we would be here all day because I have so much support. Thank you so much. I want to thank the mayor of Passaic, Hector Laura, for being here, and city council president Gary Scher, and the entire community of Passaic for wel welcoming me with open arms. Thank you so much. Um, this office here is going to be a place where I want our beautiful population of immigrants to come with confidence in knowing that I am going to handle every single case that comes across my desk with integrity, responsibility, and care. And I do want to dedicate this moment to my beautiful children, Gianna and Julian. Um, I want them to one day see this and realize that anything is possible with God, with hard work, and dedication. And now para mis 
para mis hispanos. <risa> <risa> primeramente, primeramente quiero darle las gracias a todos por estar aquí. Esto es un momento que yo he trabajado mucho tiempo para llegar aquí. Um, desde que yo decidí ser abogada, que fue en la secundaria que yo decidí que quería ser abogada, todas las decisiones que yo tomé, um, todos los pasos que tomé, fue para este propósito, para, para llegar aquí. Le quiero dar gracias a Dios, porque sin Él nada es posible. Así que gracias, Señor, por este momento. Le quiero dar las gracias a mis familiares, a mis amistades, a mis colegas, a, a todos los me, que me han apoyado hasta llegar aquí. Le quiero dar gracias a la comunidad, al alcalde Héctor Lora, al presidente del council Gary Sher, muchas gracias. Y a la comunidad de Pasek, muchas gracias por recibirme con los brazos abiertos. Esta es una oficina donde pueden venir con confianza, porque aquí yo voy a tratar todos los casos con mucha responsabilidad, con mucho cariño. Y si no los puedo ayudar, también voy a ser sincera. Aquí pueden venir con toda la confianza. Y, y le quiero dedicar este momento a mis niños, a Gianna y a Julián, que un día puedan ver esto y darse cuenta que todo es posible con Dios, con el esfuerzo y con dedicación. Y con todo esto, en el nombre de Jesucristo. Amén. Amén. Thank you. All right. Well, welcome. <laughs>